Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selam ala Resulillah. Viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. We are in the month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah. What we want to take a look at this time is good actions are better than words. What do we mean by this? Sometimes we say a thing that we don't mean. Sometimes we say some things extraneously that we don't even need to take to say anything. Sometimes we command what we ourselves don't do. As a Muslim, there are certain things we need to know because we Muslims are different from other people in the world. We are different from other, Muslim, other people in the world. We are Muslims. That name suggests that there is a particular way that we are expected to live. Islam means submission to the will of Allah. A Muslim is a person who truly submits himself willingly to the will of Allah. We say a lot of things and we do a lot of things, but sometimes it's quite better for us if you can just do a thing without even saying something. Sometimes we say things that might, might even be against us. Let me give some examples. One is, we may command a virtue. While we ourselves, we are wicked. We are doing what is wicked. We may command a virtue. We are doing what is wrong. Sometimes we try to encourage others to do something which is right. But we ourselves, we do what is wrong. And other times, we argue. We talk too much without even doing anything. And some, sometimes, we just say a lot of things, maybe talking about others, like gossip and many other things like that. It would have been better for us we can, if we can engage ourselves in some good actions instead of these extraneous talks. The first one, when you say something but you don't do it, is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala eats seriously. In the Quran, Quran chapter 61, that is Surah Al-Saf, verse 2, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, lima taquluna ma la tafa'alun. O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? Kabura maktana inda Allah, an taqulu ma la tafa'alun. It's most hateful in the sight of Allah that you say what you don't do. What is Allah saying here? You may be a parent. As a parent, you command your children to do certain things. But you should know something about children. Children are good at imitating, but they are not good at listening. Sometimes you will ask your children to, say, to do something, they may not do it. Sometimes you will have warned them about a particular thing, they will still do it. They are not good at listening, but they are very good at imitating. Sometimes you don't need to talk too much to your children or your ward, anybody. What you need is try to be a righteous person. Righteousness you want to see in the person you are commanding, try to be the first to be righteous. Your child, be the first teacher of him by doing what? By doing what is right. Let him learn what is right from you. It's better for you than commanding him to do what is right, but you yourself you violate what you are doing. When there is contradiction in your speech and your action, you are trivializing your word. You are trivializing your word and you are even neutralizing the impact of the word in the person you are, you are talking to. This is why it's always good. Sometimes Umar ibn Khattab would say, call people to Islam without uttering a word. Call people to Islam without uttering a word. People would say, how would we call people to Islam without saying anything? He said, through your good actions. You have to be good. When you are good, you are a role model. There are a lot of Muslims, a lot of people, not only Muslims, who are reading Islam from the conduct of a Muslim. When a Muslim does what is right, Islam is good. When a Muslim does what is bad, Islam is bad. These people are not ready to study Islam or read Islam from the book of Islam. They only read Islam from the conduct of the Muslims. And in most cases, Islam may go this way and a Muslim goes this way, which means that a person who is uh, studying Islam from the conduct of Muslim may be, mis may be misled, misguided. Don't be a source of misguidance to people. People are watching you. You call yourself a Muslim, then you must leave Islam. Talk Islam. Dress Islam. Anything you want to do, let Islam reflect in it. Your master is Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you truly believe in him, 
behave like him. Let people see that, no, you have a leader. And that leader is the greatest of all leaders in the world. That is Muhammad. Let people see that you are a true follower of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in your conduct. Before you say anything, let people learn from your good speech, good appearance, the way you relate with people, let it be good. That is better for even saying a lot of things, preaching to people about Islam. And this also happens to the preachers. Sometimes as a preacher, you command the virtue, and you forbid people from doing what is wrong. But you yourself, you may not do it. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that's in Surah Al-Baqarah, Quran chapter 2, verse 44. Allah says, أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ أَفَلَا تَعْكِلُونَ Why do you command people to do what is good? And you, you neglect yourself. You forget yourself. وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ And you read it from the scripture. أَفَلَا تَعْكِلُونَ Don't you listen. Where are your senses? When you are commanding people to do what is right, and you too, you are not doing it. Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said on the day of your resurrection, some people in in paradise will be shown some people in hellfire. Some people will be shown the people of hellfire. They will see a person, he, is, he will be dragging his intestines in hellfire. And people will now gather around him asking him, oh, you so and so, what led you to hellfire? Are you not the one who used to command us to do what is right? And used to forbid us from what is wrong? He would say, yes, I used to command you to do what is right, but I used to do what was wrong myself. I used to come to forbid you from what is wrong, but I used to do it myself. So this means, it means that it's a serious thing. It's a serious sin that a person commands virtue, but you too, you are wicked. Let us make sure that we are not contradictory in ourselves by saying something what you, know, you do not do. That is hypocrisy. And also, sometimes we say, we gossip. We gossip, we talk too much we engage in argument without any fruit after it. Do you know what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about that? The Prophet said, Inna min ahabbikum ilayya. Those who are most beloved to me amongst you, wa aqrabikum minni majlisan yawmul qiyama. And those who be closest to me on the day of resurrection, ahasinukum akhlaqo, are those who are best in character. You want to be close to the Prophet, you must be among the best in character. And he now said, wa inna min abagadukum ilayya. Those who are most hateful to me amongst you, and those who will be furthest from me, they will be far away from me on the day of resurrection, you won't be close to the prophet. Who are those people? Those who are bad in character. Then he added something. He said, Those who are arrogant. And those who are talkatives. They talk too much. When you talk a lot, you make a lot of mistakes. When you talk a lot, you are going to say things you are not supposed to say. You are going to offend your Lord as you are going to offend people. As a Muslim, be refined in speech and be served in speech. Do much good actions instead of talking much. May Allah guide us aright. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.